What's up, everybody? Doc Dog1985. There's levels to this. All right, check this out. I got to get ready to go to the gym, but I wanted to make this video real quick. I understand. I get it. I finally get what everyone's been trying to tell me. I've been hard headed about it. My bad. My bad. When you're right, you're right. When you're wrong, you're wrong. You just got to admit it. If there's certain things that I don't understand and I can articulate it, then when something else happens and I don't understand it, I should be able to articulate it and then base my opinion off of that as well. So for the longest time, I was saying how both the Xbox Series X and the PS5 were underperforming due to games like um, uh, Cyberpunk, right? Obvious, obviously, yes, that is a developer's fault. Then when I was talking about the Xbox Series X, was the other game yakuza was bad on it right you guys said it was a developer's fault we we, we fought back and forth got it was the other game assassin's creed valhalla same thing developers fault i was really upset because microsoft dared to put the optimize for xbox series x but it was running better on the ps5 these are still facts right however you guys still said no doc no doc no doc is the developer's fault and i am here to tell you that the same way I use logic to try to figure things out, it's not always the best case. Because sometimes things don't make sense. There's things in life that sometimes just don't make sense, right? Like, just it just doesn't, right? Um, there's no rhyme or reason as to why you woke up this morning. You just woke up because basically God wanted you to wake up. That's it. There's there's nothing that you could have controlled to make sure that you woke up. So there's no logical reason as to why you got up this morning, except for that God wanted you to get up because tomorrow you might not wake up. So it is what it is. But same things where same thing with some things in life, some things you try to think about it logically and make sense. And then some things don't make sense and you don't understand why. So here we go. I wanted my Xbox Series X to act exactly like my PC. Even though my PC is not as strong as the Xbox Series X, it has an advantage that the games that I play on that PC are all unlocked. So I don't know what it, what, what it takes to develop a game as far as developing for console or developing for a PC. But whatever they do to PCs is almost like the developers just throw the, the games at the PC. And then if you have the PC, you get to choose what settings you want. And then you it's almost like you're optimizing the game for whatever experience you want to have. And that's what I wanted my Xbox Series X to do, but it didn't. That's my fault. Microsoft never said that it was going to do that. But when I thought about it, you know, comparing it to a 2080 Ti, that's what I thought it was going to do. That's not what it does at all. Games have to be optimized for it. That's why I still have a problem with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because Assassin's Creed Valhalla is not, in my opinion, is not optimized for Xbox Series X. I don't know if they patched it up yet, but regardless. I'm going on the right. Let me bring this back in. This is what I mean by I understand what you guys meant. And if I'm going to use logic, I have to use it with everything. Right now, I, like I said yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I finished beating Gears of War 4, Gears 4, right? And the game on the Xbox Series X on a 4K TV just looked amazing. I have no idea how many frames it's running. All I know is that it's smooth. Right. And that's the only thing that matters is the gameplay smooth. If it's running at 40 frames, but I but to me, it's a smooth experience. That's the only thing that matters. Right. So the game was running smooth and it looked amazing. It looked beautiful. Like there was parts in the games. I, I couldn't even believe that this game came out for the Xbox one. Now, I grabbed that game. And like I said, I connected my Xbox one yesterday and uh, my Xbox One S, and I played Gears of War 4. After I beat it, I just started playing it to see, see what the difference is. It's a huge difference. It still looks good on the Xbox One S. So if you've never played it on the Xbox Series X, you're still going to think the game looks beautiful. But once you play on the Xbox Series X, you're like, okay, no, there's a huge difference. On PC, Gears of War 4 also looks great at 1080p. It's not even playing at 4K, but it looks great because I'm getting a lot more frames. So it's running really smooth and everything. It looks it looks beautiful as well. But still that 4K 60 was just completely different, especially on a big TV and everything was just completely different. I started Gears 5 yesterday. Oh my God, my mind was blown when I started this game. Blown. The game looks amazing, it looks beautiful. So th this is what I'm saying. If an old game, right, because Gears 5 is still an old game, right, 
can look and run like that on the Xbox Series X, there is no excuse for any game not to be able to do the same thing. At that point, it is not the machine's fault. I agree with you. It is the developer's fault. Learning has happened. You guys can clap for me. Yes, I agree with you. The fact that every single Gears of War game that I played ran amazing on that. Now, I expected all the Gears 1, 2, 3, Judgment Day to run great. 4, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be that amazing on it. And now 5, that I'm playing 5, is just I'm, my mind is blown. Like, the game is beautiful. Beautiful. If the Coalition could do it, every other developer should be able to do it. They should be able to do it. And now going forward, games that will be made for the Xbox Series X and the PS5 better be that benchmark. They better be the Coalition benchmark. Whatever graphically intense game Sony has from the PS4 days, I guess. I don't know. With Ghost of Tsushima, I heard that. That looks really good. They better be that. So, my bad. I can admit when I'm wrong. Microsoft, I'm not... The only thing I'm blaming you, though, in Microsoft is you're not going to put Optimize on a game. That is you. You're allowing these companies to put a, a logo saying Optimize for Xbox Series X, and it's not. That falls on you. But as far as any game that's not labeled as Optimize, if it doesn't run well on the Xbox Series X, yeah, it's the developer not knowing how to do it. That's it. It is what it is. Doc Dark went on 8.5. Yo, there's levels to this. And when uh, learning happens, there's levels to that, too. Gears 5. Yo, this amazing. Hey, let me know what other games I should be playing as well. I heard somebody tell me to check out Titanfall 2. Does it look amazing on the Series X? Ooh, I'm excited. We'll see what's up. We out. Peace.